You're watching the Intel Network and Edge V Summit series with our focus today on building the intelligent enterprise edge. The edge is becoming increasingly important for BT's customers as they seek to exploit the benefits of digitalization. But what are the challenges of deploying and managing services at the enterprise edge? And how can BT leverage its expertise in managing distributed global networks securely and at scale? Well, joining me now is Brian Lappin, who is Head of Product Management at BT. Brian, good to meet you. Thanks for joining us. Great to meet you, Guy. First things first, why is BT interested in the Enterprise Edge? Well, Guy, two main reasons. And the first one is quite a simple reason. Uh, the reason BT are interested in the Enterprise Edge is because our customers are interested in the Enterprise Edge. Of course, our customers have always been interested in the Enterprise Edge, but the conversation is moving on more from connectivity to how customers can actually exploit what is happening at the edge. So the creation of data at the edge, how they use that to improve their digitalization and improve their efficiency within their organization. So that's, that's one thing. We're, we're very much seeing that drive from our customers to say, what can BT do to help us at the edge? The second reason is quite simple as well, is BT have always been supporting our customers at the edge. We manage and connect and deploy uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands of device at customer edges today from uh, LAN infrastructure to WAN routers to SD-WAN devices uh, to uh, firewall devices to network optimization devices. So we're very much part of the customer's edge ecosystem. So I think when you bring those two things together, the, the growing customer requirements around the edge and BT's experience and knowledge and history at the edge, I think that's a perfect match for why we come together to help our customers in that area. So moving into specifics, how do you actually define the enterprise edge? Well, I, th I think the edge is a very hot topic. You know, the fact that we are hearing, discussing it just now, uh, we, he we hear about things like edge compute, we hear about network edge, we hear about the hyperscalers moving out of the cloud into the edge. So it's very much a hot topic. And the reason, a lot of the reasons for that are around what we'll discuss uh, around the, the importance of information and data that's been produced at the edge. But I think for the purpose of this conversation, Guy, we can talk about the edge as really as a, a location or a hub where data is created, aggregated, processed, processed, and then distributed, or a place where people within the customer sites operate or uh, are, you know, are in position. So I think if, we can, if you can think about the edge as that, where it's on a customer site, where it has either they have people or they're creating data and capability at the edge that's going to be used. I think that's probably a good description for Enterprise Edge you know, for the purposes of this conversation. So there's obviously a lot of interest in the Enterprise Edge and there's an opportunity there, but what would you say are the main challenges that enterprises face in this area? Yeah, I, I, so I would, I, I, I would categorize it into maybe five main areas of, of challenges for the customers. I think the first one is very much around managing choice for the customer because at the edge, there's a lot of evolution at the edge, both in terms of technology and architecture. So if you think about technology, customers are talking about how they connect to the cloud. So what SD1 technology or SDN technology do they want to use there? Who's going to be available today? Who's going to be available in the future? What's that going to look like? So it's a technology choice. There's also an architectural choice around here as well as, as, as you create lots of data at the edge, how do you use that data? And where is that data best processed, stored, and analyzed, is it at the enterprise edge? Is it at the network edge? Is it at the cloud? So I think there's architectural choice and technical choice that customers have to, have to make. So what customers are really looking for is some flexibility and be able to make changes at that point. The second thing is really around connectivity and infrastructure. So if we think about the edge exploding in terms of the amount of data that's created at the edge, how are you going to support that from an infrastructure perspective? So if you're talking about a customer site, do they have the correct infrastructure to support this uh, creation of additional data? So do they have the correct capacity? Do they have the correct technology? Do they have the correct way of managing it as well? So I think that, that, that sort of infrastructure is important. Then connectivity, you know, where are you sending the data? Is it to the network cloud? Is it to the, the, uh, the public cloud? Is it to other sites? So the connectivity is really important as well. One of the other things that's, that's, that's key for Edge uh, and it's become increasingly important is as you expose your edge to more locations, either the cloud uh, or to other sites, then security becomes really important. How do you secure 
the edge and the data that's created at that edge. That's a key component of any successful edge uh, strategy. The fourth one is really around scale. So when we talk about edge, we don't talk about maybe three sites or five sites or 10 sites. We can be talking about hundreds. We can talk about thousands of sites. So how do you, de how do you design for that type of environment? How do you then architecture it? How do you deploy? How do you service it? How do you make changes to it? So doing that at scale is a key challenge for customers. Very often they can do quite good things in the pilot phase, but how do you actually scale that up? That's a key challenge as well. And finally, I'd say the final challenge is, is again, relating to that scale, is how do you create a service environment that creates a, a very good service experience for our customers, both the people at the edge and the machines at the edge that allow you to be consistent across that scale. So I think those are the five main challenges that I would see customers facing in, in sort of developing and deploying a, a really strong edge strategy. Thanks for that, Brian. Um, based on the feedback you get from your, your customers, how are your customers actually looking at and viewing the enterprise edge? Well, I, th I think, Guy, we have a diagram which I can maybe use just to illustrate a few points on what our customers are trying to do at the edge. I think if you look at it from the, the side where it says industrial network, if we take the, the example here of an industrial customer, they're probably trying to do a number of different things at the edge. From a people perspective, what they're trying to do is make their employees more productive. So they're looking to maybe extend some of the productivity tools like Microsoft Teams out from the carpeted environment into the industrial environment. So they're looking to have that seamless view of uh, employees being more productive, not just in a uh, an enterprise environment, but in the manufacturing environment as well. And you can take that, you know, it wouldn't have to just be manufacturing, it could be a shop floor or retail as well. So they're trying to make their employees more productive and create a better experience for their employees as well. The second thing they're trying to do is they've got a lot of data created at the edge. If you take this example, they've got uh, industrial PLC machines that are creating lots of data. They're now putting sensors out to monitor what's happening. They might have uh, robotic arms, et cetera, et cetera. All this is creating a large amount of data. And what they're trying to work out is, is what do they do with that data to make best use of it? So where do they have to uh, aggregate that data? Where do they have to process it? Where do they have to store it? And where do they have to distribute it? So all that is really what customers are trying to do. They're trying to leverage better employee uh, performance and productivity. They're trying to uh, leverage better data use and better uh, differentiation from that data use. And that's what they're trying to do at the edge. That's what we see our customers really asking us to look at and help them in, in that, that area. So given that great overview of customers' requirements, what is BT doing in this area to actually help and support its customers? Yeah, good. So if, if, we, can, if we can go back to that diagram, maybe I can talk you through again, just this, this you know, from, from the pieces of what BT are doing to help some of those, those questions that the customers were asking. So what BT are doing, if we take, again, if we take the, what, you know, if we uh, recap of what the customer's trying to do in terms of the data and, you know, em empowering the employees, what we need to make sure is in the customer environment, infrastructure is correct. So that they have the correct connectivity uh, in terms of the capacity, in terms of the tooling, in terms of the technology that allows them to take the data, take the employee's input uh, and bring that and aggregate that in a way that the data can be used. So we need to make sure they've got the correct LAN infrastructure. We need to make sure they've got the correct Wi-Fi LAN. Increasingly, we're looking at 5G in there as well. How do we how do we use that to leverage and make the infrastructure stronger for the customer? So that's one key important thing. And I think sometimes that's quite forgotten in edge discussions. You need to extract the data. You need to aggregate the data before you can actually use it. So that's a key thing that I think that BT are looking at to help our, our customers. The second point of that is you move out towards uh, the Agile CPE box is really around creating a flexible edge for our customers. So by that we mean, you know, what are the customers trying to do? What do they want to do with that data? So in, in many cases, the customer will just want to take that data and pass it out to the cloud. So that's where we talk about, you know, having a thin maybe edge device, which would be, could be an SD1 appliance. And that's really just taking the data and making sure it gets to the correct place securely. The second approach of that edge device could really be about, well, how do we still take that data out to the cloud, but make sure we can do it securely and we can do that within a single device or a single environment. So we potentially then add in a security function in there as well to secure that edge and make sure that the data goes out to the cloud uh, is secure and effective in where it goes and how it gets there. 
And then the third area is, well, some of that data might want to stay in the, in the customer's environments for reasons of latency or security or availability. And therefore, that, that device becomes slightly, let's call it thicker, because it's got compute power in there that can be able to do some processing, analytics, and data storage as well. So those are the two, two of the, the key areas. The third area that we really look at is, is, is how do we deliver this at scale? So if you look at this diagram, it's, it's quite simple. Uh, and this represents, but this represents maybe one site for a customer. As I mentioned earlier on, the customer can have tens, hundreds, thousands of sites that they're trying to do this on. So how do we scale this? How do we make sure that when we deploy this, manage that and make changes to it, we can do it at scale? And that's where we bring in our management and operational tools to make sure we can do that. So you know, there's key things around uh, telemetry, how we pull data out, analyzing it. We can do self-healing. Uh, so those things that make sure that we can manage this at scale without having too much manual interaction, and we can really help customers roll this out. So it's not just one or two sites that are getting the benefit from the, uh, the evolution of Enterprise Edge, but it's all their sites and all their network can really get the benefit of that. Now, collaboration is obviously so important here. How are you working with Intel for your offerings for the Intelligent Enterprise Edge? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, we very much see the, the Edge as something that is, is a collaboration amongst an ecosystem of providers. So we're very much seeing as, as being be able to partner with key providers in this area, and Intel are you know, a key player in this area. There's some great things that the Intel do in this area, and so let me just go through some of them. One is just when you talk about that, uh, that flexible device that we put in, so we, we use Dell and uh, our environment, uh, Intel are a key part of that. You know, they provide the Atom and the Exxon D capability within that that's integral to that device. So, you know, at a, a very basic level, they're a key part of that infrastructure. I think secondly, when we talk about some of the challenges of scale, you know, the Intel capability, the research, the capability they have around how you help uh, service providers scale. So looking at things like telemetry, how you, uh, how you can extract data about CPE usage or you know, network interfaces and really make sure that that data can be fed back into telemetry systems and management systems to make you make effective decisions, not just when problems happen, but before problems happen. That's a key area that Intel are really helping with. Third area is really we're working with Intel in a lot of innovation. Uh, so we're, we're working, we've been, worked with the Intel uh, labs, we're working with them in the TMF forum uh, catalyst projects, and those are really interesting projects to really try and address some specific customer problems. So we've looked at, you know, UCP architectures, we've looked at zero touch uh, provisioning, uh, bare metal provisioning, uh, we're working with them just now on a phase three catalyst project, which is focused on uh, smart industry, industry 4.0. And that's really looking about how you can scale that out, how you can uh, do things that are you know, critical around security, uh, how you can bring devices on quickly, how you can manage them, how you can have, uh, you can have zero trust between those devices, uh, capability between those devices. So Intel very much in that area as well. So it's the, it's the base capability it's the ability to help scale, and it's the ability to innovate as well. And I think that all brings it together for us that it's a very important player in the market that we are working with, and you know, we're pleased to be working with Intel. Well, Brian, we're going to be hearing from you later on one of our panels, but for now, thank you very much indeed. And don't forget, you can watch the additional interviews and discussions on the Intelligent Enterprise Edge as part of the Intel Network and Edge vSummit series. But for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye.